Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Patrick Redding. I'm the game director for Splinter Cell Conviction Multiplayer here in Ubisoft Montreal. Splinter Cell Conviction is setting out to reinvent the franchise for Splinter Cell, to reinvent how people think about stealth action and stealth action gameplay. It was really important for us to be able to transfer that over to the multiplayer experience as well, to really give players a chance to feel like an elite rogue agent who's been let off the leash, who's been freed from those rules of engagement, has been given the ability to strike at will at his enemies from the shadows. Uh, we want to make sure that players are able to work together to experience that as well. And that's why we arrived pretty quickly at the idea that it should be a cooperative game, that it should be two players working together uh, kind of in tandem as these two agents. We call our co-op story campaign the prologue because it's literally a prequel to the storyline of Sam Fisher that we see in single player. The two player characters in the co-op game are actually still agents working for their respective agencies. And for the first time, possibly for the first time in the Clancy universe, we actually have a team up between two agents that are working from what would normally be rival agencies. So what we have is uh, Archer, who's an American agent working for Third Echelon, Sam's old employers. And we have Kestrel, who's a Russian agent, a Russian operative working for Voron. And Voron's essentially kind of the Russian Third Echelon. It's a division or a special project within the SVR. We have four additional game modes, which make up what we call Deniable Ops. Those four modes are Hunter, Infiltration, Last Stand, and Face Off. Uh, the idea is we're taking the four maps from the prologue storyline, uh, these four maps that are in the former Soviet Union, and then two additional maps that are specific to the Diable Ops missions, uh, and giving players a chance to try three different difficulty levels, a whole lot of the different weapons and elements the, and ingredients that we've introduced uh, throughout single player and co-op, and try it either by themselves or with a friend. People are playing in multiplayer experiences and co-op experiences, not just online. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're always supporting the ability for people to you know, link together on Syslink, but also to play split screen at home. So in addition to the story campaign, which is represented by Prologue, we have four additional game modes, which make up what we call Deniable Ops. 